Hello. Over the last decade in Ohio, we have seen the insurance companies, especially auto insurance companies, move away from making large early offers to many injured victims in an attempt to keep lawyers out of the process in general. We are now seeing more low offers across the board, forcing people to either accept what we consider unreasonable offers or hire a lawyer and wait for a fair settlement. As we say in the personal injury profession, auto insurance companies will pay you quickly or fairly, but usually not both. In other words, if you want a generous settlement, you will have to jump through some legal hoops, which usually include hiring a lawyer. In reality, the days of handling things yourself and getting a great settlement that takes care of all your future medical needs and protects your medical benefits are coming to a quick end. To be blunt, in my experience, insurance companies only understand force and the risk it brings to their bottom line. And what force does a non-lawyer really have against a multi-billion dollar insurance company? It's like David fighting Goliath without any stones to throw. A competent, aggressive, personal injury lawyer is the stone that you can use to hurt the auto insurance company in the only place that counts, their pocketbook. Now you wouldn't do brain surgery on yourself, but I'm surprised how many people think they understand the complexities of personal injury law, including the make whole doctrine, breach of subrogation clauses, indemnification and duty to defend clauses, Robinson versus Bates and subrogated carrier evidentiary issues, non-duplicated clause issues, liens and letters of protection and how they affect case value, UCR and evidentiary rules regarding medical bill reasonableness and admissibility, prorating of prior and subsequent injuries, loss of enjoyment of life rankings, permanent impairment ratings, who can give them and how they increase case value, duties under duress and how it affects case value, Colossus and other auto insurance computer programs, Medicare and Medicaid repayment rules. That was just a short list of the relevant legal concepts. You probably don't know many of these legal concepts. How could you? That's not your job. My point is not to impress you, but to impress upon you how what you don't know can hurt you. Insurance companies understand these legal concepts and much more. We like to use an old adage. Why would you bring a stick to a gunfight and deal with these trained adjusters alone? What you don't know will hurt you. Just trying to understand the verbiage is like going to France and not speaking the language. Why would you negotiate with someone in France when you don't even speak the language? Let's discuss why hiring a lawyer almost always increases motor vehicle accident settlements in Ohio. Insurance companies spend a lot of money for advertising. They send out feel-good messages that would have many people believe that they will be treated fairly in their personal injury claim. Wouldn't it be nice if we were in good hands or treated like a good neighbor by the insurance adjuster all the time? The truth is, the insurance company's goal is to pay out as little as possible for your injury claim. They also do not want you to get an attorney because they know if you hire a lawyer and the lawyer protects your rights, in all likelihood, they'll have to pay out more on your claim. In fact, one insurance company's training manual tells their adjusters to be nice to injured victims who do not have a lawyer just so they don't hire a lawyer. This saves money for the insurance companies. Insurance adjusters always say that they don't pay more when an attorney is involved. But this simply isn't the case. You want to make sure that you act before important witnesses, physical evidence, or other legal proof cannot be found or before you say something to the insurance company adjuster that will ruin your case. Some people may feel there is a stigma involved with contacting an attorney or are intimidated by the process so they don't do anything. The insurance companies hope for just this type of injured victim, the one that does not want to hire an attorney, the one that saves them money. The bottom line is, if you've been seriously injured, you owe it to yourself and those you love to make sure that your rights are protected. Over the years, we have received calls from hundreds of injured Ohioans who waited too long or took action that unknowingly destroyed their personal injury claim. Let's discuss what value lawyers bring to the accident victim in the personal injury claim. Let's just get down to brass tacks. For starters, lawyers protect you from the insurance company. They keep you from making statements that reduce the value of your claim. They document evidence such as witness statements and any kind of damage to your body or property. They make sure the documentation is in a form that you need to give the insurance company because it's your obligation to prove your claim. With regard to medical providers, 
a lawyer will help you make sure that you receive proper diagnosis, treatment, and documentation of all your injuries. A lawyer will talk to your physician and get written reports from them to fully understand and document your medical condition. He or she will also watch to protect you from doctors who may overbill and also help keep you out of collections. When health insurance gets thrown into the mix, a lawyer will deal with them also. If health insurance has paid any of your medical bills, they will most likely want their money back from the at-fault party's insurance company. You can even jeopardize your insurance benefits if you settle a bodily injury claim without paying back your health insurance provider. I bet you didn't know that. Medicare and Medicaid are extremely strict when it comes to getting their money back. It's important to know that also. Hello. Let's discuss in general how you might know if you need a lawyer to handle your Ohio personal injury claim. A lawyer is not needed for every injury claim. Some factors that suggest you need a lawyer include your treatment was more than a few hundred dollars, you may have future health problems regarding your medical care, the state of Ohio or federal government is paying the bills, there was more than minimal car damage to your vehicle, your injuries are more than a simple ER visit, you have health insurance that you don't want to lose when you settle your auto insurance claim, you're having trouble getting medical care, and others. While no list is exhaustive, these are some factors that can help you determine if you actually need a lawyer. Now, of course, the best way to decide if you need a lawyer is to actually talk to a lawyer and ask him or her why you need them in the first place. Mm -hmm.